Hi, if you ever doubted whether network engineering is a critical job, please keep watching this video. In this video, I will share network engineer career path in 2024 and what you need to know. Starting a career as a network engineer can be stressful without proper guidance. And also network engineers who want a successful career must master many different technologies and disciplines. They must also possess intense problem solving and analytical skills. It's a tough road, but those network engineers who walk it can open up lots of exciting career opportunities. Let's break down network engineer career paths. First, let's start with the question that, what is the typical career path of a network engineer? The career path of a typical network engineer can vary depending on skill, experience, and interest. Regardless of the industry niche, there is some commonality in the network engineer's standard career path. Entry-level network engineers typically begin their careers as network technicians or help desk engineers. They gain experience working with network hardware and software, troubleshooting problems, and supporting users in these roles. Junior network engineer. After gaining some experience, network technicians or help desk engineers are often promoted to junior network engineers. In this role, they take on more responsibility for designing, configuring, and troubleshooting networks. Senior network engineers have a thorough understanding of networking concepts and technologies. They are in charge of designing, implementing, and managing large networks. They might also be in charge of mentoring junior network engineers. Network architects are responsible for the design and implementation of large-scale networks. Network managers are in charge of the day-to-day -day operation and maintenance of networks. They must be well-versed in networking concepts and technologies, as well as be able to manage and motivate teams. Network engineers can pursue a variety of career paths. Some network professionals specialize in areas such as security or cloud computing, while others advance to management positions such as network manager or IT director. So the next question I would like to talk about is that, how can you know if a network engineering career is right for you? Do you ever watch a show on Netflix or Hulu and notice the typical IT backdrop of blinking lights on a server rack and think, that doesn't look right? Do you bring home a router, switch, or modem that is about to be discarded and tinker with it to see if you can get it to work? Is your home lab consuming more power than your neighbor's Tesla charging station? These could be signs that network engineering is the career for you. If the career is right for you, you may wonder that, how to become a network engineer, there are some important steps you need to take if you're considering this career path. I will put them in seven steps. Here's how to get started smiley face. Step 1. Complete a prep course. Step 2. Study in a relevant field. Step 3. Look at job posts. Step 4. Get an entry-level job. Next is, talk to industry experts. Step 6. Get the right certifications. Final step is, learn about specific products. Let me share in detail. 1. Complete a prep course as a beginner. You may be unsure whether this is the right career path for you. Do you need to brush up on certain skills? In any case, a short software engineering prep course can really help you learn the coding skills and fundamentals you'll need to succeed in the field. You'll also gain access to a useful network that you can use in the future. 2. Study in a relevant field Many network engineering jobs require that you have at least a bachelor's degree in a related field. However, sometimes an associate's degree is enough to get hired. Relevant degrees may include information technology, information systems, computer science, or computer engineering. Some schools offer a program specifically in network engineering. Not all of these roles require a master's degree, including senior level roles. But, some prefer that you have a computer science or engineering graduate degree. 3. Look at job posts Examining current job postings is a great way to get a sense of the qualifications required for this position. Typically, companies outline exactly what kind of tasks they require from the engineer, including education and work experience requirements. This explains how you can plan your future and obtain the necessary certifications, degrees, and experience. 4. Get an entry-level job Network engineering roles often require 5 to 10 years of experience working in a computer-related role. After getting your degree, look for positions like Network Technician, Systems Administrator, 
network administrator, computer network analyst, and similar titles. These jobs supply you with real-world experience in managing and working within a business network. 5. Talk to industry experts. This is where you focus on a different kind of networking, growing your professional circle. Finding a mentor or connecting with an industry leader can help you understand your options and the steps you should be taking now to reach your goals. 6. Get the right certification. Certifications can look great on your resume while helping you harness the right skills to excel as a network engineer. Here are a few certifications to consider. CompTIA plus CompTIA Security plus CompTIA Network plus CompTIA Project plus ITIL Foundation Certification CCNA. You can find some free study material in the description section. 7. Learn about specific products. Another tip for landing a job in this field is to learn about specific devices and brands you may be using in a role. For example, some companies may require that you're experienced in using Cisco products. So, you need to either have worked with them previously or learned how they function. Some vendors also allow you to get certified specifically for their products, which can be a great idea when looking for network engineering jobs. For instance, Amazon, Microsoft, Cisco, and Linux all offer brand certifications.